I would recommend removing or uninstalling MinGW from your system before starting. We are going to be using Winget, which will install each program's defaults. If you want to customize and install, say you want to choose which drive you want to install to, I would suggest downloading the installer for the program you want to install and installing it that way instead. To install MySys2, we Winget install MySys2.MySys2. Then we open the terminal. There are a few different versions of MinGW we can choose. For this setup, I'll go with the default they recommend on the website, UCRT. Though, not every library will work with the selected MinGW, so you might need to try using a different one. An example of this is I don't think SFML works with the UCRT MinGW, so you most likely want to use the x86-64 one instead. I'll have the installation commands in the description. Run pacman-s mingw w64 ucrt x86-64 gcc. This should install the ucrt mingw. Press enter and proceed with the installation. If it times out, try running this command again. To find the path, we open the file explorer, go to our C directory, click on mysys64, go to ucrt or the folder for whichever mingw you installed, then open up the bin. If this folder holds gcc.exe and g++.exe, we have the correct location, so copy the path. Now we search for the environment variables, click the environment variables, click on the user's path, click new, and paste our path, then click OK. Close out of all of the windows. And we need to open a new CMD in order for these environmental variables to take effect and run gcc-v. If this doesn't output, any information, then try restarting your computer and checking the path was added. Git is super handy when it comes to saving projects and also pulling code, so we'll install it. We just win git install git.git. On Windows, I like using VS Code, but I don't enjoy Windows telemetry, so I'll be using VS Codium. To install, we just win git install VS Codium. .vs -codium. To install CMake, which can be super handy, we will winget install kitware.cmake. To install Make, we can go to the MySys2 package website and search for Make and click on the MinGW64 Make. This will take us to a page that has a binary packages section at the bottom. We find the package for the MinGW we are using, in this case UCRT, and copy it. Then we pacman-s and paste the package into the MySys2 terminal and install. Now we can run MinGW32Make, though I prefer j running just make. To allow running make with just make, we open the file explorer, go back to our bin that held GCC, in this case the C mysys64 ucrt64 bin, then copy mingw32make.exe and paste and rename the copy to make.exe. Now we can run make in the terminal. To install a library, we will use sdl2 as an example. We do the same thing as we did with make. Go to the mysys2 package website and search for sdl2, then click on the mingw64 sdl2. Scroll down to the binary packages at the bottom, find the package for the MinGW we're using, UCRT, and copy it. Then we pacman-s and paste the package into the MySys2 terminal and install. For the example code, I used code from a GitHub that I sometimes use to test setting up SDL2. There are some changes I needed to make to it, but I'll post the code with the changes in the description to copy. We can create a folder to store our code. I placed mine at Programs, YouTube, SDL2, Test, but anywhere works. Then we open that folder in our text editor, create main.cpp, and copy the code into it. I'll fast forward through the video because I did a bit of debugging that shouldn't be necessary if you copied the code in the description. Then in the terminal, g o main main.cpp l sdl2. After the program is compiled, we run it with dot slash main.exe and make sure that slash is a backslash. Thank you for watching.